r slash ask reddit, who is the worst attention horse you've come across? Back in early elementary school during art I used to talk shit about my own art to get a lot of compliments from other students. My teacher noticed it and told me to stop. I once did that and my friend was like oh yeah you're right, it sucks and I felt so betrayed. A true friend I see. Anyone who checks in at the hospital on Facebook. There was a girl who used to be part of this group of friends that I saw on the odd occasion when I was a teen. I only met her twice, but on both occasions she started to full on sing super loud whenever everybody else was talking and she was not involved in the conversation. I knew a woman who was similar. She was actually a pretty good singer. Problem was, it went to her head and she sang in everybody's face after announcing what a good singer she was. Annoying. I knew a girl in college whose father died at least 6 times over the span of one semester. Like, we would be hanging out, and then she gets a call, and then she drops the phone, her eyes go red, and the waterworks start. There's a girl in my college classes who claims her dad owns a huge soccer team but doesn't know the name. She's dating one of the LA Lakers but can't give his name out, but she is also talking to someone who's in the NFL to keep her options open. She says her dad works at a local steel factory and has no idea where his extra money comes from because he gives her hush money then called another girl out in class for lying to fit in. There was this British TV show about bad moms and one of them made her daughter dress way older than she looked. Daughter wanted to wear a t-shirt and jeans to go out to eat. Mom made her wear tights, mini skirt, boots, tight tee, sleeveless overcoat, and a boatload of jewelry. Kid basically looked like she was in a Disney show and would make her daughter randomly sing and do her cheer routine in public because you never know who's watching. People get discovered on the streets every day. My high school ex posted a picture of a knife to his wrist on Twitter after I broke up with him for cheating on me and being pathological liar. He told everyone to message me and to talk to him. I cut off all contact, or he was going to kill himself. I hate that I was young and dumb. So it worked and we ended up back together. I once had a guy do that but we'd been on like 3 dates. Called the cops on his pathetic ass. He got all upset with me because his parents got angry with him lol. But I totally understand the young and dumb part, especially if you once cared about this dude and you don't want to see him in pain. This girl in 8th grade claimed she was depressed and suicidal she was popular so everyone believed her and felt bad for her. She got all kinds of attention for it. There was this kid in the same grade who was actually depressed and he tried hanging himself on a doorknob in the back of our class when no one was looking one day and in an odd way he became popular after because of it. She decided to do the same one day in class except no one noticed her doing it until she was passed out and had to go to the emergency room. My fiancé has been my best friend since we were kids. Once, in high school, he was dating a girl who decided that after scaring the shit out of him by trying to cuff him to the bed against his will, she was going to threaten to kill herself if he dumped her. About 10 years later I ran into her at a party. She was there with her husband and infant son. Not the kind of party you take a baby to, but okay. She proceeded to tell me how they never technically broke up since. Being 15 years old, his answer to if you dump me I'll kill myself was to just stop talking to her, and because of that, they were technically still together and she was cheating on him with her husband, making her son a bastard. She was 100% serious, and she also told me to tell him she wanted an apology. This was in front of a lot of very stunned people. Man I feel bad for her husband. A lady that I work with is the biggest one upper I have ever met. In April I had major surgery to remove half of my digestive system and was given a lot of attention from our concerned co-workers. She was not happy because she wasn't the center of attention anymore. Well, she found out she needed to have a DNC, outpatient procedure to cauterize her uterus and your wake for the whole thing. She came into work she decided to milk it for all she could. And when she came into work the next day she was distraught over the fact no one came to check up on her the night before and wouldn't talk about anything but her recovery. By the end of the week she was telling people she was recovering from cancer surgery. In fact she still complains that she is recovering from it and this happened back in April. She also told me, unsolicited of course, 
that the reason she didn't come see me while I was in the hospital was because her mom had died in a hospital 13 years ago and she is still grieving and going to a hospital would make her grieving process start all over again. I actually feel bad for her. My grandma has to make everything about her, literally everything, no matter the person or situation, and if the convo switches to where it's not about her, she gets visibly annoyed and you can see the gears turning in her head as she tries to figure out how to get the conversation back onto her. She constantly retells stories she's already told 1000 times back from when she was younger if she can't think of anything recent. If I have to ever again hear about how she was prom queen back in 1951, or valedictorian of her 10 person 8th grade class, or how whenever she goes anywhere, everyone just loves her, she literally says and you know. They just love me all the time. I'm gonna lose it. My roommate's cat died last week. When she told her co-workers, one lady proceeded to start telling a story about a cat she kinda owned that never even lived with her that died 5 plus years ago. She got so worked up that she started crying and the entire office started consoling the co-worker instead of my roommate whose cat had died the day before. Unbelievable. Sister-in-law. At our wedding she did everything she could to steal attention away from her sister, my wife. She wore a dress that Shed had altered to be both low cut and short skirted. Then when no one was paying her attention kept accidentally dropping things so she would bend over to pick them up. When her dad Ray married she was telling people at the ceremony that she had cancer, but had come to terms with it. She didn't have cancer. I went to her costume wedding once. One woman, not the bride wore her own wedding dress and claimed she was the bride of Chucky. A little touchy but here goes nothing. My brother was in a toxic relationship. He was physically and mentally being abused, not sexually. He did manage to get his abusive girlfriend pregnant. It got to a point where he was actually crying because he just needed to come home with me to our mom. That was the last straw for me so I said duck it, come with me. So he grabbed his stuff and we literally ran from her. She was throwing his stuff out the door and screaming. We kept running. But, then she yelled, if you don't come back right now, I'm going to stick a knife in my pregnant belly. I wish I was making this up. We of course ran back to prevent this. So yeah, that. My cat. Lap hops around the room to find the best one. His best score was when the best lap was next to the best pets. My girlfriend's cat acts like nobody has given her attention in years. This kid who's chilled out by now and I'm good friends with once was a huge attention horse. One day he walked up to our table while we were peacefully playing smash and pulled out one of those rolls of minty tape. That's what I call them meant to make your breath minty and says, I'm eating this whole roll and none of you are ever gonna stop me goddammit and so we didn't. Absolute mad lad. My ex. When I told a friend to go check up on her because she kept posting suicidal shit on her egg story, she immediately said I was stalking her. Bro, I literally just checked on you. Calm the duck down Lmeo. A girl I know is always sick with something or other. She is also always whinging about how the surgeons tell her she doesn't need operations. She persists though until she gets them. It's not a pain pill thing. Purely attention. All she talks about is how terrible hers is, is and she can't work because of it. Then a month later we never hear about the first problem again and she now has ABC. She's managed to get two shoulder operations. A knee reco and an endo op. Surprise surprise the surgeons said she looked fine when they opened her up and she's never complained about those things ever again and now has other things to wrong which conveniently only affect her when she wants something. This girl I knew was the literal definition of attention seeking. She would always show off and always have to mention how much money and influence she and her family had and then in the same breath would try to convince you she was from the hood. She wasn't. She was literally from the richest area in my city where higher level politicians and famous people live. She would constantly be extremely dramatic and say really disgusting things to get a rise out of people. She'd make really outlandish comments about different races, religions, Poor people, the homeless, etc. She voted for Trump simply because she wanted to get a reaction from people. She was the kind of person who needed to one up literally everyone. If you had a chronic illness, so did she and it was so much worse than yours. Bad upbringing? Hers was worse. A tragic loss? Nothing compared to what she went through. Had some incredible news? Sucks to suck because hers was better. 
Her roommate was having some serious mental health issues and she somehow managed to make it about her and her safety and vilify the poor girl instead of actively helping her seek treatment. She would get drunk and act like a crazy fool. Flailing her arms and being loud and sexual just so people would watch her. She'd make out with all our mutuals, who she referred to as her sons. Gross. Just to stir up drama. She would steal things from people's houses at a party, put it on snapchat and then when she was caught would delete it and act like it never happened and then play the victim. She lied to everyone about hooking up with a mutual friend of ours. She's lost a lot of friends in the past year or two, myself included, because we can't deal with her dramatics and attention seeking ways anymore. I'm trying to be as non-descriptive as I can because a lot of the things she did are very specific, but this is just some of the stuff she's done. If I listed everything we'd be here all day. My sister came out as a vegetarian during a dinner with extended family, at a steakhouse. This dinner had been semi-regular for years. Same sister brought her home tune crafts to the family dinner the evening before my wedding to show off. That one's on film. The day of the actual wedding. She snapped off a chunk of my hair while using a curling iron note. She's a licensed hairdresser, and spent the reception wailing about how I was getting married first. We were both well under 25, and she took another 9 years to meet a decent fellow anyway. A friend joined me and two others in the Philippines for a couple weeks despite her never having traveled before and despite her having 12,000 words to write while for uni we're there. About 5 days and she goes storming off in El Nido in the pouring rain in the dark and claims she's tired. We tell her not to go but by this point she's been crying and complaining about the trip all week. She's staying in a different room so we didn't hear from her until the next day because reception told us she had checked out but left her watch behind. She wrote on Facebook we had been leaving her out, not true, and not being considerate towards her injury, a small graze on her leg, and we weren't being supportive with her uni work aka not doing it for her. Oh and by the way we're all around 26. I worked with a crazy Mormon girl who was an aspiring actress. She claimed to be epileptic and would fake passing out in front of groups of people and them eventually come to- She wouldn't really seize, just faint. Always made me smile how she'd roll her eyes before she dropped and always managed to fall safely. What a dumb attention horse. Knew a girl in high school that claimed to have did. So you never knew who you were talking to. It was literally a that wasn't me. That was Patricia situation. We all knew she was faking because there was always holes in her stories. Mixing up details with the different personalities on top of a new character every week to blame her actions on. We just gave her the benefit of the doubt. 10 years later she never mentions any of them again. Oh yeah and she told me she as a 10th grader got paid to train horses to do tricks for like circus shit. Then forgot about it the next day I brought it up. As an cringy ex-horse general this one was the worst lie of all. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.